Uh, hi, this is Mike from Hummingbot. Uh, I wanted to give a quick demo of Hummingbot Dashboard, a new uh, experimental companion app that we recently introduced that allows people to deploy and manage fleets of bots from a graphical interface. So uh, let's get started. This is the Dashboard GitHub repository. Uh, it's open source and uh, it's in the Hummingbot Foundation GitHub repo. So if you want to get installed, uh, click on the README and look at the installation section in order to uh, install it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install it and to set up now. So uh, the first thing you should do is make sure you have Docker installed. Um, so I have Docker version 24 right now. Uh, I think you should have uh, 24 or higher. Uh, also, uh, make sure you have Anaconda or Miniconda. Uh, so um, uh, in the future, we probably will deploy this as a Docker uh, container. However, right now, as it's in development, we recommend installing from source. So uh, after you have um, installed it, uh, you should run make and create in order to create the dashboard uh, content environment. I've already done that, so I will simply activate the environment. And once you've activated, then you can run streamlet run main py in order to start the dashboard. And it will run, um, I'm sorry, stream, oh, that's right. you have to activate the dashboard uh, environment, uh, which is the one that was installed uh, when you run make and create. And once you've done that, then you can run Streamlit in order to run the app, and it will run in localhost 8501 in the browser. So um, the dashboard is actually comprised of individual dashboards. So some of these are maintained by the community, but the main one that the foundation will uh, work on is the bot orchestration dashboard, which is this one here. So uh, this dashboard allows you to basically manage and deploy bot instances and to configure which strategies those instances are running. So the first thing you should do is start the Hummingbot broker. This is a community-based module uh, that was added and allows Hummingbot instances to talk to one another and talk to the dashboard. So um, this may take a little while because uh, if you look at the terminal, you'll see that it has to fetch the Hummingbot broker Docker image uh, and then start that image. Uh, once it's started, however, you should be able to refresh the screen here and it'll say uh, the, the broker the broker is now running, um, as you can see here, because now it's a stop broker. Now that the broker is running, now you can start and run bots. So let's start one, and I'll just call my first one just number one, and then I'll try to I'll create that bot. So, um, so now it's going to create the bot, and uh, and so you should see if you go to the manage files tab, you should see a, a new um, basically in file explorer here, uh, you'll see Hummingbot one, which is a folder where all the bot configs are located for the bot that you just created. Uh, and then in active instances, you should see the Hummingbot one instance started here. If you want to create another one, you can simply create bot two and create one, and then it'll, it'll basically create a new container for every bot that you want to start. Similarly, you'll see that now there's Hummingbot one and Hummingbot two uh, folders in the manage view. These folders correspond to folders in your local terminal as well. So if you go to uh, a code editor, uh, so this is the Hummingbot dashboard directory. Uh, there's a Hummingbot files directory that contains a bot configs folder. This bot configs folder is what houses the, um, the configuration files for your various bots. So there was a master configuration file, and then it created these configuration files for each of the bots that you have. So over here, um, we can actually edit the, uh, the, the, the script files available for each bot here. So, um, so this is where if you wanted to edit, let's say for bot one, I wanted to change how um, 
the, 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 a script before I ran it, I can go and edit it here like this. So I can, you can click on, let's say the simple PMM example for home about one, uh, click this edit tab, and then you'll see the code for this script uh, over here. So let's say I wanted to change this so that instead of running it on the um, ETH UNCT market, I'm gonna run this on the BTC UNCT market instead. So to do that, um, first make the change in the code editor. Uh, you can apply the change. And then finally, make sure that you hit this button here, save. Uh, this will actually modify the file. So uh, now, um, if I, if I actually kind of go and look at the code here, um, I should see that the script file for Hangout One and Simple PMM, uh, this actually now says BTC instead of USDT. However, um, the the script file for Bot Two over here, uh, this was not changed. So the script, uh, the same script in the Bot Two folder, still says ETH USDT. So, so basically, this manage files tab is, uh, is a simple way to kind of essentially edit and create the configurations that are available for your various bots. So after you, so after you can edit and kind of you know exactly uh, what kinds of strategies or script files uh, you want to make available to your bots, the orchestrate tab can help you essentially manage um, the starting, stopping, and getting the status of these various bots. So um, let's say we want to start that simple PMM strategy here. Uh, so I can go and select that from this bot one menu. So let's, let's see, uh, uh, where is that? Here it is. And then I can start that strategy. So, um, so that now the strategy will be starting uh, so you may see some errors. We're, we're still working on like the error handling and all the user experience for this. Uh, but after you refresh it, it should say that now this bot is is running. So now this bot is actually running uh, the, the the strategy that was selected. So uh, if we refresh that, so yeah, so you can see that now it's placing orders, uh, paper trading orders in the BTC at USDT market. Uh, you can also attach to this instance directly. So if you, um, if you go to terminal, uh, let me open a new tab, and if you type the Docker command, you'll see that, uh, you'll see Docker PS, you'll see the actual instances that are running. So let's attach to this Hummingbot one instance, uh, and we can see what's going on in the bot itself. So you can see that the bot is already running the strategy here, and if I run the status command, which is Control S, this status is the same status that uh, is available over here uh, in this uh, unformatted uh, but uh, useful section over here. So you can see that the, this this dashboard has available the same information that's contained in the command line application over here. So over time. Uh, we will be able to take more and more of the information located in the in the, in the command line interface and make them more available and easier to interact with in the dashboard. Um, so you can also stop these instances as well. Uh, so let me um, let me stop this one. And and now when I stop this one, it's sending the stop command to the bot. So if I go back to the terminal, I can see that this is out also stopped. Uh, I can also stop the instance itself. Uh, so, for example, let's say I wanted to, uh, you know, not use that memory, uh, then I can stop the container, and this will actually stop the Docker uh, container, or uh, you know, remove that from memory. And then, so if you go here, you should see uh, that stopping as well. And then finally, when the instance is stopped, uh, you should see it in the stopped instances list. Uh, so uh, here you can see that instance was in fact stopped and then you can start that again if you want in order to uh, reactivate and launch more more bots. Um, so I hope that gives you a brief intro into how this, uh, this dashboard works. 
Uh, currently, um, we we're planning to make some big changes in terms of the user experience and user interface, but we wanted to publish this version and start getting people in the community to start testing it out, giving us feedback, and helping us make some of the design, design decisions that we need, need, know we need to make. So, for example, uh, we're going to expand this creation interface to be able to allow users to deploy bots in both the cloud as well as locally. Um, we think that you know, selecting the strategy you want to run, fetching the status of that strategy, uh, and then be able to control all the various aspects of the bot, like fetching logs, uh, understanding what your PNL looks like. Uh, there's a lot of complexity that we'll need to manage, but we wanted to get this first test version out there um, and allow people to start editing it and use sort of like this framework uh, that we've we've started to act, act with. So, so please. Um, yeah, try out, try it out. Uh, you know, try it out to adding multiple bots, uh, changing the configs for each one, and and please let us know uh, what the feedback you might have uh, because uh, we will be making lots of changes to this dashboard in the next coming months. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you on Discord soon.